Today we're showing how we can assist storage facilities, hospitals, and other mass transit areas of security protection for their facilities. So by pretty perimeter control with radiation detection, it allows us to keep our staff, our doctors, the hospital, the equipment, the patients safe. So we can isolate the ones with radiation detection and then assist them in a different methodology than we would with just an injured individual. So you do that in addition to securing the sources in the facility? That's correct. To understand what the isotope is and what the, the strength of that isotope is when it's, it's decaying. So all of that information can be transmitted out immediately upon a radiation event? Right. What other kinds of communications does the system enable? Well, with that, we can also do email, SMS text message to your cell phone, they can also, on their PDAs, see the actual camera live. What's really nice about this is, depending on your business rules and the severity of the radioactive isotope, you may only just alert security. It may be at a higher level where you want the local police and hazmat. It may be at an exceptionally high level. We also have a lot of modules that can plug into ONSSI. So for instance, we've got our friends from Greek Cam over here that I'll tell you about in just a second. Or uh, Keith from Defense Tech, okay, that's a radiation detection system. Uh, a plug-in or an a partner of ours here in the booth today. set position automatically or with a single click boom I have preset position. Or maybe I want to take that, that field of view and I'm going to change cameras on the fly and quickly grab that camera and put it in that field of view. So from our live perspective of the client, real simple, real easy, very straightforward to, to operate. We can sh we can show people this client and they can learn it in literally minutes. But the live viewing of video can even be more enhanced than the fact that I can go in here and do a digital zoom very quickly and very easily of an instant playback of what just transpired on that camera right from the screen I'm viewing. Again, doesn't matter what camera it is, I was showing a flash presentation right inside my application, right inside of our client. And why would I want to do that? I've got an operator, I've got a duty officer on duty at 2 o'clock in the morning, I've got an incident somewhere. So let's put a flash presentation right inside of his client so we can show him the instructions, numbers, people to call, protocol, things down the field. Now that was, people don't view video live, they play video back. And I'm going back through my video very quickly and very easily. Let's stop it, and maybe I want to use something a little more simple like a kind of an iPhone clock there. Go back to 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Uh, let's go back to 10.01. Let's go back to 10 o'clock yesterday. Let's go back to 10 o'clock the day before. On the day before. Well, Captain Eve, if you've got a camera somewhere in an intersection, somewhere in your environment, and you've got this much video you need, you see, Captain Eve, so you have really that much time to view it, that's what you're looking at here. That's a camera in Stuttgart, Germany, at an airport, and you think, wow, that just had a crash, just had a crash. No. All those events happen separate times, but I'm able to view them in a very compressed time frame. The button says, go get bookmarks, and there's bookmarks. Label, duration, time, case number, classification, all there in front of us. If I want to look at that bookmark, I have, I have a, a mouse over that lets me do that. I can put it on the screen. I can go back and search bookmarks by cases. And if that's not a bookmark we want to keep, we can delete it. Okay? Could I clear a report? Yes. 
Can I create individual frames? You betcha. How about a database format for the uh, U.S. Attorney? No problem. Well, I've been here. You've seen some numbers scrolling around the top of the screen there. So what's that? Ocularis enables you to be able to monitor alerts from multiple systems. Gate controls, access control, motion detection, analytics, whatever the case may be. Uh, right now it's 23, I'm gonna go to 24 because of an audio event that I just created off of that camera. So when I actually open that up, that button up there, there's all the list of alarms. There's my event called clap on, clap off right there in front of me. What's more, there's the live view. But what's even crazier is, where did that happen? I touched the icon of the map, it actually happened right there on that camera. Whoop, come back here. So on that camera is where that event transpired. Now that I've discovered it, I've done my investigation, let's acknowledge those events, type in my notes. I can make a case number on the fly or select a case number, and then I can actually submit that event for future use, for future investigation. We're also excited with Apple Arts now that our handheld clients, or at least in Saudi Arabia, our friends from our local dealers are here. They now, they have now enabled us to take uh, Ocularis beyond the Microsoft mobile platform and now on the Blackberries and the iPhones. Let me show you the video wall and then we'll be done. If I go to my maps of Anaheim, I'll go to Anaheim overview. Very large map of Anaheim, and I'm going to hit that link right there, which is going to take me to a more detailed map. And I can navigate backwards, navigate forwards. Let's go to the stadium. Well, this same client is now being used as a controller for a video wall. Yep, there's that alert coming up on that camera. I can pull the camera up on my desktop and look at it, okay? Or I can bring up a group of cameras and put that on my desktop if I like. Okay, very simple, very easy. Pop it over here, let's stretch it out a little bit. But where the video wall comes in is there's my list of remote walls. What's a remote wall? Well, here's one because I've got Ocularis running that station. I've got Ocularis running those stations up there. It could be a police car, it could be anything. Let's go to the, to the, to the back video wall. Well, on the back video wall right now, they're looking at a camera, but I'm going to change and put that camera on that wall. I'll put this camera on that wall. And I said, why am I showing you that? Because you know what? A lot of places have multiple video walls. How can I control them? I can now see what they're viewing, what they're viewing on that wall. In that box right there, where they're watching that camera. On that box right there, they're watching that camera. I can control what's going on on their wall.